Gran Turismo 7 is about to ban its top esports drivers. I'm not even joking. Gran Turismo 7 might be about to ban some of the fastest drivers in the game. And it's all because of this extremely controversial hack, cheat, exploit, potentially, or not, depending on what way you look at it. I'm going to explain everything to you, but I want you to let me know what you think about it. This is such an important point for Gran Turismo 7. And there's a big difference of opinion so let me know in the comments what you think right here's what's going on you are watching a manufacturer's round in the gran turismo esports championship every driver here is driving for a manufacturer throughout the course of the season and at the end of the season the top drivers will go to monaco for a live event they'll race in the broadcast there'll be some prizes and stuff like that and what you're watching here this is the top split in the america's region so you've got lucas benelli here who a couple of months ago was the fastest Gran Turismo 7 driver in the world. You've got uh, Cyrus here, who I think is a full-time Gran Turismo esports YouTuber um, type person over on, on Twitch. And this corner here you're watching right now is the cause of all the controversy. Let's have a look. So we're on board with Lucas Benelli now approaching this corner and essentially you can wall ride it. You can go at unrealistic speed, hit the wall at this corner grind the rail like it's Jet Set Radio Future and carry a lot of speed through the corner. So you can see here this grinding sound, grinding sound, and in real life obviously that would damage your car. Now it's really important for me to say because I'm making this video, I have to let you know my opinion. And my opinion is that this is not the fault of the drivers in any way. I feel really bad for any drivers that didn't get the result they want in this round. I feel really, really bad for any drivers that are not going to go to Monaco because they didn't choose to wall ride. But I also can't really blame the drivers that did the wall riding. It's in the game. Ultimately, this is a game. And we're here to, well, at the highest level, they are there to exploit as much as possible. And there's all the other quirks of the game that we exploit. Me personally, I didn't do this round. I didn't want to race against wall riders. I didn't want to wall ride. If you're trying to get to Monaco, you don't have that luxury. So it's a horrible position to be in. But that's my view. It seems a real shame that some drivers are either going to get maybe bans or lose their points or whatnot because this just could have all been avoided with better communication with, with PD earlier. But there we go. Now there is a silver lining. Have a look at this. So this is the top split of the race in Europe. So like we had top split in America, these are the fast drivers in Europe. Incredible drivers here that I've raced against, interviewed, absolute legends. And you can see here, there seems to be a sort of gentleman's agreement not to wall ride. And I had to check through, and as you can see here, I think Josetti on this lap is, and this is a driver I've raced against before, great respect for each other. I think he makes a little mistake here. You can see he's really trying to avoid it, but does end up hitting the wall. But generally, generally the drivers are trying to avoid it, which I thought was absolutely incredible. We're going to have a look here with Alex Lopez, and have a look, he's in the Corvette. Have a look how much brake he applies to really try and avoid hitting the wall. Look, he's really trying his best sacrificing a lot of speed to avoid hitting that wall and when you compare that to the line that some of the drivers were taking earlier or i think the line we're going to see here from from damien but you just don't know you just don't know if drivers are trying to avoid it and it's difficult to not avoid it you don't know if they're trying to wall ride and you don't know if actually there's a little bit of lag we don't know if actually what we're seeing here in the replay is slightly different to what the driver was doing I mean, here's Aura behind Damien. Aura is a fellow streamer, so go check him out on YouTube. But you can see here, Damien has hit the wall. And that's a tough one for Aura. What does Aura do? Does Aura think, well, I'm going to hit as well? You end up with a kind of game theory, prison's dilemma. And I'm, a, I'm very proud, actually, that this top split in Europe basically didn't wall right. I mean, that is incredible when you think about it. Now, I think as the race went on and the tyres go, it got a little more difficult. You're bump drafting. It should have been a binary thing by the game. It should be if you touch that wall, you get a half a second. And if you don't touch it, you don't. I, I think that's the only way they could have dealt with it. And I know they knew about this beforehand. Well, they, they should have known about it. It was all over Twitter. There was some really unsavory stuff at the time as well on, on Twitter with, you know, streamers accusing other streamers and stuff like that. And it just not really a good look for the game and it could have been avoided. So... Let me know what you think about this. My views is that we should really try and avoid this happening in the future. Really, 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 really. But very interested to know your views. Make sure you like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you. See you next time.